Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. This is a look at build 26058 for Windows Insiders on the Dev and Canary channel. At the moment, the Dev and Canary are on the same builds, which means actually you can sh switch between uh, channels quite easily. You normally can't go from Canary to Dev because that would be a downgrade, which you can't do. But in this case, you can. So if you've got a device on Canary and you want to switch to Dev, now is the time to do it. So th this is the reason why they're on the same is because we're now testing 24H2. At some point in the future, Canary will branch off and go off to future versions of Windows. Also available with this is an ISO, so you can do a clean build if you want to give that a try as well. A few people have asked me how this, how I've got this to appear. I have no idea. It appears and then sometimes it disappears um, like that. So, oh, there you go. There it's back again. But sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. So there are some changes to this build, not as many as the previous one, but I can show you one of the changes. There's a new mouse indicator thing there um, for visi low visibility or accessibility reasons. So you can switch this on and off here and there's a, a keyboard shortcut for that uh, as well. You can also change the, uh, the color on it as well. So one of the changes Microsoft said is over on the widgets board here. See, I've got the, my widgets down the left-hand side and the news down the right. Now, unfortunately, they haven't rolled this out to, to everybody yet, just a few, but there's a new indicator up here where you can switch between news or the, well, sort of my widgets or the news type stuff. So you can actually get rid of that and just have all widgets, which is probably how I choose to do it. So I'm looking forward to, to trying that one out. It might be a while before everybody gets that yet. Also, they're adding a notification, some widget notifications to come up here uh, as well and something a lot of people have asked for which they've added is when you go into file explorer and right click well, an item like that you notice you've now got the labels on here which is actually pretty good for uh, usability because yeah ever get you get used to the icons eventually but um having them there like that just makes it a little bit more visual so if you're not familiar how it used to be that's how it used to be, or how it currently is. There's no um, labels on them. So I think that probably makes sense. There's some fixes in this build with um, waking device. There's some fixes with optional features, and there's some where it didn't show any, and there's some fixes with some sandbox issues. There's still some known issues with dev drive users. So, um, Dead drive uh, can break with this, so just be careful with that. Make sure you check the release notes. There's an issue with it uh, when you use the ISO if you use it to upgrade a build rather than doing a, uh, a clean install. So uh, just use the upgrade in Windows Update for now. And there's some issues with a rollback error as well and a VPN issue as well. So make sure you check out release notes for that. So that's what's changing this build. Uh, not a huge amount. I'm looking forward to the widget features because I do like these. I'm not so keen on that. So be able to choose those yourself is a great idea. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.